Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I have another book review for you, and that is The Earth Path by Starhawk. This is a book that I read as an ebook, and I did that not because I didn't think it would be great to have, but because I already have a few other Starhawk books, and I try to keep my book collection as small as possible. Bias alert, I love Starhawk. She is one of my favorite authors. Her activism and connection to Divine Feminine just really rocks and fits well into my spiritual practice. There are some things that not so much, but generally I really, really appreciate her writing. So The Earth Path is an interesting read because while it talks about a lot of the things that pagan books often talk about, like magic, connection, daily practice, things like that, it's really more on how do pagans understand the actual natural world. So there is some science and there's a lot of politics. The book uses journal entries of Starhawks to not only show the real struggle and highlights of having a connection that's deeply rooted in the natural world, but also kind of proves that the things the author is talking about and encouraging you to do is something that she herself does both when it succeeds and when it fails. I liked the journal entry. There are kind of a lot of them, but I think it's a great addition to the book and different from some of the other bits I've read by Starhawk. This book is also filled with politics and the author takes no shit about being progressive and being on the left and really encourages the reader to look at their own politics to make sure that what they say they believe is being followed through in what their political and citizen's life is actually doing. And I like that part of Starhawk when she gets into like the nitty gritty of like do your shit and, and practice what you preach. Not everyone can go to a million protests or rallies like Starhawk, but there are small things and even, you know, just voting I think is really, really important. And we have an election coming up, so I encourage all of you to vote whatever way you want to, but participation I think is really key. The Earth Path also talks about some more details of the science behind the natural world and why metaphysics and paganism talks about some of these phenomena in the way that it does. So there's a lot on seeds and death and life cycle, evolution. Those are really fascinating bits. Of course, if you're in the sciences or you have a firm understanding, it's not going to teach you anything new probably, but it is great to see a pagan author really emphasize that science and spiritual belief can mesh really well and the pagan outlook often does this seamlessly. So if you are a reader who already loves Star Starhawk, of course read this one, it's great and you'll enjoy it. If you're a pagan reader who's looking for something that kind of encourages you to get off your chair and do something, this is also a great read. And I think it's appropriate during an election to read some more books that are encouraging folks to get out and be involved in our political process and kind of spread the messages that paganisms have. Not to convert people, but to say that yes, we are here and we care and we want changes. In the comments below, I would love to hear if you think that politics and paganism mesh really well or if you're more like, no, those are separate realms. Thanks for watching and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove. I think tattoos are phenomenal ways to show our beliefs, our inspirations, our art style in a really permanent and meaningful way. Of course, I love those people who have a spiritual meaning behind their tattoos, and my tattoo that I have is filled with spiritual meaning.